Hey guys, Choose Army Slayer is back again, and today I'm showing y'all how much progress I made on the bolt, which I cut myself while doing it to cut this screw down, down, but it is worth it. And I also drilled a ejector pin hole for now. It's not finished, and it's not going to be much ejection happening because how small the pin is, and I drilled it a little bit too far away. I wanted to get closer to that wall, but it should be fine when I'm all done and everything but you can see that's the bolt face right now there's a spring in here so it turns and pushes back forward but in general it turns and it turns the right way and as far as i need it to so it's supposed to turn 30 degrees to the left so like everything moves to the left and if you look at it from the base to here you can see when it's pushed out, let me actually do this and then when it's pushed all the way down, it's off center. The bottom of that lug is now on a on its side. Instead of being perfectly flat and straight down, it's turned. And when I let it go, you can just see it turning. But I'm gonna take the spring out by getting off the jump bunk bed. Going back to my little dirty work area that I've been working on this thing yet for a while now and I don't think I could no I can't flip the camera but what I can do is possibly get a good way to set this phone up real quick and show you guys um just how you know what I got a tape roll I'm gonna use that <laughs> so basically like this, yes, that's a box for ramen noodles. The bolt, it just takes a screw. And with that screw, when it's out, when I get it out, should be able to unscrew my fingers now. When it's out, here's that spring I was mentioning. You can see I had to patch that hole couple different songs there's the spring I was mentioning but I had to patch that hole because it was way off take the spring out and I had to patch this a slew of different songs which I'm actually gonna take a file to it here in a minute well, right now actually because I can but basically um it locks unlocks it does it it does it the right way. It does it the way that I need it and want it to. Uh, next step is getting the... Uh, uh, I don't know how to exactly explain it. Making the piece that's going to go around this. So it's going to attach around this. It's going to be glued down to this. The barrel extension. Making the barrel extension. So it's going to come out like that much. Y'all could not see that at all. Barrel extension is going to be a little long. And it's going to hold the bolt completely locked like that. And then unlock the bolt's going to obviously, obviously it's going to turn out and pull itself out. But yeah, I'm going to make that extension. Let me tighten this back down, the screw. So tighten it back down. I'm going to write it back to y'all. But in general, that's too tight. <laughs> there it is. In general, if you look at it, that's straight up and down. But then when you pull it, or push it, it turns. It's slight, but it turns. I wonder if I can actually get it to go back straight up and down like that it's not really straight straight up and down but it's straight so like it's a little bit off to the side because I don't know I don't think I really don't think that the rounds are gonna be too far apart so regardless it should pick up the rounds but once it's pushed all the way back it turns to the other side which I'm not really, I'm proud of it.
it works. Now all I gotta do is build the gas key with the piston coming off of it. Uh, once I do that, I will um, probably start the barrel extension because I want to do the gas key first. I have a couple different rounds I already mentioned. I gotta um, make sure that they fit in here because right now it still takes 7.62 like that will just slot in there. I'm gonna start building around the base and around into where I need it to be and cut out what I don't need. And then from there, I'm gonna basically uh, let me set the phone down. But basically, from there, I'm going to have everything the way that it needs to be so that I can do first test fire. So yeah, like right now you can see that when this is pushed forward, that shifts to the other side. So it's just from being a little bit past the middle to being pushed back to a little bit off center to the middle. But in general, it'll lock and go behind the lug as much as I can possibly make it without going past the point that it needs to or without being too far or too close to it. I'm hoping that the angle that this bolt is at because it's a little bit off depending on which side it slot wants to lean closer to it's a little bit off. Let me see. It's a little bit off because it can shift slightly both ways which I don't intend on messing with or fixing yet. But in general, that's, that motion could mess up feeding. And if feeding doesn't work right, like it's not stripping one side of the rounds off the magazine, then yes, I will go in and rechange it. But I don't think it's really going to be <sighs> an issue right now. But yeah, bolt locks, turns, does what it's supposed to. So I'm going to move on to the gas key slash piston. And then from there, I'm also going to work on um, the rest of the upper, which is sitting there, not done, nor, nor really started. only thing it has on it is where the delta ring and all of that would screw onto. But first, I'm going to start from the back forward. So like layering. It's gonna only gonna go to a certain amount of layers. Once I get to a certain amount of layers, I'll snap that blue ring off and um, take a solder and iron and some, basically melt through the this thick rim of plastic. If y'all can see that, it won't focus, but that thick rim of plastic behind the blue, I'm gonna cut it. It won't focus, but I will cut it off. It focuses on this pretty much. But it won't focus. But yeah, when I cut that ring off and the receiver upper is really done, then I'll get it to just where it's able to fire with the thing on there. And once that's done to where it can fire, I'll put out the first test fire video and actually put some charge behind one of these rounds. The winner round is going to have the same charge as the other round, which the other round, I believe, it's up on the bunk bed. But, yeah. I'm going to put a, uh, probably about, I'd say, that much of the casing. Because, like, the capacity of this case goes from, I'd say, probably, like, here. That's where it actually stops or starts to be open, I believe, somewhere around this little area. I'm probably going to fill it from here to like here with match powder and then just let rip not match powder more like the slower burning match powder that I made a while ago I'm gonna use that to see how slow it burns and how fast the bullet leaves what I want to do is basically let me this pan I'm gonna use it after I clean it obviously I'm gonna use it as a mold for ballistic gel it's about two and a half inches tall I believe and then across is probably about 
size of my hand from my pinky to my thumb a little bit longer than that so that's about because the disc can fit in there and this thing is easily eight nine nah seven eight inches so this has got to be at least 10 inches around on each side so if anything goes through it then which most i assume it will but if it goes through it that'd be good but i'm gonna i'm gonna take it to this pond that i go to and at least a while no one's around and then test it by firing from one side of the pond to the backstop because it's like a little back alleyway it's weird it's not even really connected to the pond anyway it's just i don't know what to call it all i don't know it's just a spot that nobody's around and nothing's out there at all so um pretty safe to fire anything around there so so i'm gonna take it and see how far it goes and well not how far it goes how loud it is or stuff like that just in general all of that stuff so i'll mess around with but yeah for now this is all i got for you guys i'm about to start building the gas key and all that drill the holes for it and get it tapped in <laughs> but yeah if you like then you can like and subscribe if you like the video then you can like and subscribe if you want to it's free you can always unsubscribe and goodbye